Hello and welcome my dear friends, welcome to another uh, unboxing episode. I've just returned from the post office with uh, this pack and it contains some interesting Romanian writing instruments. Let me first tell you what I paid for the whole content of the pack, including the shipping cost. Uh, so what you will see in this episode cost me 100 lays, or the equivalent of 20.14 euros, or 21.33 US dollars. And without further delay, I will reveal the content and um, why not, I will tell you what I paid for each and every item. So I have here a cutter and some scissors, and I will try to open this pack, like this, and uh, let me see, okay, like this, now I think I can open it through this side, and let me see what we have inside here. So this is just wrapping paper, and I think the content is right over here. Yes, guys, this is wrapping paper, and this was the box. Okay. I have here my scissors and my cutter. Let me see. I think I won't need them anymore. I hope not. Okay, like this. So those are the pieces guys, carefully tied together by this uh, rubber band, and let me take it off. Actually I believe there are some, um, not only Romanian, uh, Romanian writing instruments, for instance I recognize this pencil. It. Uh, was sold during my childhood in communist Romania, but it is, uh, as you can see here, made in China. Let me zoom a little bit for you to see. So, made in China, Goldfish MB3207. Some nice items with the crocodiles and... Uh, it has a rubber right over here. So this was um, part of a lot, guys. So this one and um, this one aside and those, let me see, yes. Okay, guys. So for the ones you see here, I paid 10 lays a piece, so for one, I paid 2.01 euros or 2.13 US dollars. And these are ballpoint pens. And interesting enough, they are personalized with uh, Czech Târgumureș. Târgumureș is a town in Romania and Czech uh, nowadays it's a bank owned by the state and um, in a communist time uh, this was a savings institution so I'm trying to see if this has uh, the yes it has the mine oh I'm sorry guys this is not a ballpoint pen but a mechanical pencil you can see here this is the lead, you can put it right over there. And uh, let me see, this particular one is made by Flaro. And uh, it's called Desen number four. So a nice um, writing instrument, a Romanian writing instrument. And I have uh, one in blue. One again in, um, but this time this is a ballpoint pen, interesting enough. And uh, right over here, this is called Astra Tray, probably made also by Flaro, but no, uh, but yes, we have also Flaro. 
and this is a ballpoint pen guys i think uh, it operates like this and when you try to uh put back i think you sh you have to press on this i'm not so sure but it has a mechanism right over here so also this piece this ballpoint pen cost me 10 lace or 2.01 euros or 2.13 us dollars and i have another one let me see this one is also a mechanical pencil with the same inscription and also 10 lace or 2.01 euros or 2.13 us dollars and i also have i believe this is um another one the same and uh, this is a ballpoint pen but it comes in this sleeve and also this cost me 10 lace the equivalent of 2.01 euros or 2.13 us dollars okay so those aside and the other items you see right over here they were bought as a lot and they cost me 60 lace or 12.08 euros or 12.80 us dollars and i have here this one this seems to be a ballpoint pen interesting we have an engraving on it this is a flaro mercur sm and uh, i think it was part of a lot it also had um fountain pen and by the way if i have the fountain pen i will leave a link uh, on the screen with that video a lovely ballpoint pen and i think it's uh, functional i'm not so sure maybe it needs a um a new mechanism because uh, i think this mine is stuck but a lovely lovely piece romanian piece made by flaro okay i've already shown you the pencil and i have another interesting um yes this is also a ballpoint pen and we have here an a and a p this is a russian ballpoint pen i don't know if this is um, a flow or uh, is part of the model but it has a little dent over here but this one you can see it's functional it works okay the mine retracts itself okay and now i have here a wonderful also um a soviet piece and i believe this is a souvenir from the red the square very very nice and uh, yes i believe this is a mechanical pencil i already have uh, one but not in uh, a good shape like this one i believe i have one in uh, black but um, the body is broken right over here hmm this is a lovely lovely piece guys one of the reasons that i bought this lot and um, i have also a large um also a ballpoint pen but it's quite quite large and um, probably from communist times igm directia circulatie so from the road the safety the police i believe eu circul tu circul er circula correct let's say um i travel he travels they travel and they uh, uh, travel in a correct way uh, probably a uh, propaganda material from a safety campaign and uh, i will see this igm what it stands for and probably i will leave it on the screen probably an old um, bureau of the police 
that um, um, was in charge of these safety campaigns, probably during communist times. Interesting enough, we don't see a producer, probably made by, by Flaro, but no sign of uh, the producer. And lastly, I have here a wonderful uh, pen. I uh, have um, a Flaro Pioneer or Flaro Pioneer, a very lovely and small piece. This um, is fitted with a Flaro RPR, Republica Popular Romana, Iridium 41F. It's a little bit, um, mm, it needs a little bit of um, reshaping. You can see the two tines oh, are lit a little bent. But uh, a lovely, lovely piece, and why not? I will leave uh, a link to its uh, review because I've done a review with this interesting and small practical Flaro Pioneer. So, this was it, guys. This was the unboxing of today. Tell me what you think. Uh, this uh, probably you are not familiar with the Romanian models, but uh, what do you think on the price? Tell me your opinion, guys. So this was the unboxing for today. Thank you for your time, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Till then, bye-bye. And God bless you all, my dear friends.